Praise God, praise God. VOM 2021, January the 16th. What a beautiful day the Lord has brought us to see again. For his mercies are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. His name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. We are privileged to see this beautiful day because God has good plans for us. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he said his thoughts for us, they are of good, not of evil, to give us a hope and a future. And today, this morning, as we are tuned into VOM 2021, the mercy nugget for today says that mercy will single you out of the multitude, out of the crowd, and grant you multiple blessings when you heed to the voice of Jesus Christ and shun the voice of men, no matter how much men convince you. Ensure that you confirm whatever counsel from the word of God. If God says so, yes, that is the voice of God. Heed to that voice. But if God does not say so, don't let men compel you, convince you to take a step or go against the counsel of the Lord. The Bible says that the sheep, they hear the voice of the shepherd and they hearken unto it. When you hear the word of God, harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation in the wilderness, Hebrews 3, 8. The Lord is encouraging you today as you step out by faith to go to those places where you probably were rejected before. This is a new opportunity, a new day. Yesterday is gone. Today is a brand new day of expectation. And the Bible tells us that the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. And the desires of the righteous shall be granted. In Mark chapter 10, 46 to 52, blind Bartimaeus determined and purposed in his heart to touch Jesus, to, to come in close contact with Jesus so that he may receive his sight. Today, I want to encourage you to draw nearer like blind Bartimaeus did. Blind Bartimaeus drew closer. He was determined. He pressed harder, even though he was discouraged. Today, I want you to ignore all the negative, the strange voices. 1 Corinthians 14, 10 says that there are many voices and none of them is without significance. I want you to pray fully as you step out. Seek the Lord for direction and listen to his voice, that still voice that will say, this is the way, go in this direction. Listen to that voice and heed to divine instruction. Do not allow your flesh or men negative suggestions, negative counselors to stop you from heeding to the voice of the Holy Spirit. I am praying for you today. If you have not surrendered your heart, just say this prayer. Say, Jesus, forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clean with your blood. Remove my name from the book of death and condemnation. And write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I yield myself to you, Holy Spirit. Be my guide. Be my GPS as I step out today. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will shield you. The Lord will protect you even as you step out. You have received this word freely. Freely share it with somebody. And remember, the crowd, the suggestions of men, should not stop you, should not deter you from reaching out to have an encounter with Jesus. Jesus called blind Bartimaeus in the crowd, in the multitude, blind Bartimaeus was singled out for a special touch and that turned his life around. He was blessed all around, multiple blessings was this portion. I pray today, even as you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit, the Lord God Almighty will shower His blessings, multiple blessings of divine health or protection or provision. 
a book of remembrance will be opened unto you. All manner of blessings shall be your portion this day as I pray for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, remember you have received this message freely. Freely share it with somebody because it is more blessed to give than to receive. Have a blessed day. Bye now.